हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू संकेत ग्रुप ऑफ कोचिंग एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इट इज संकेत पुरोहित आई एम संकेत पुरोहित टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी योर चैप्टर नंबर इलेवन फ्रॉम इंग्लिश बिहाइव बुक इफ आई व यू लेट मी गिव यू अ स्मॉल इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ दिस चैप्टर एक्चुअली दिस इज नॉट अ चैप्टर जेन्यूनली इट्स अ प्ले प्ले मीन्स अ ड्रामा काइंड ऑफ थिंग so this play is about a playwright named gerard how he escapes being killed by an intruder who wants to steal his identity and live peacefully gerard fools the intruder confines him in the cupboard and finally hands him over to the surgeon so let us begin with our explanation scene a small cottage interior there is an entrance back right which may be curtained another door to left must be a practical door the furniture is simple consisting of small table towards the left a chair or a two and a divan rather upstage on the right on the table is a telephone so next When the curtain rises, Gerard is standing by the table making a phone call. He is of medium height and wearing horn-rimmed glasses. He is dressed in lounge to sorry lounge suit and great coat. His voice is cultured. Now, what this play is about? So the play is set in a small cottage. The room has an entrance on the right hand side with a curtain on it. There is another door to the left side of the room. which is in use the room has simple furniture a small table to a left a chair or two and a small bed on right side of the room on a table a telephone is kept as the as the curtain on the stage is rolled up gerard is found standing by a table making a phone call he is of medium height and is wearing spectacles that are shape in sorry that are in the shape of horns okay <clears throat> he is wearing a long suit and great coat his voice indicates that he is cultured and well educated okay now let us begin with our <clears throat> dialogues okay so aap logo ka jo dialogue writing wagera jo hai theek hai wo you can understand ki how a two person can interact with each other gerard सेट यहाँ पे अब मैं सीधा बोल दूंगा ये दिस मीन्स डेट इट इज सेट तो गैराट सेट वेल टेल हिम टू फोन अप डायरेक्टली आई मस्ट नो यस आई एक्सेप्ट सॉरी आई एक्सपेक्ट आई विल बी आई विल स्टिल बी हियर बट यू मस्ट नॉट काउंट ऑन दैट इन अबाउट टेन मिनट्स टाइम राइट हो गुड बाय ही पुट्स डाउन द फोन एंड गोज टू द डिवान ऑन लेफ्ट वेल दैट इज ट्रेवलिंग बैग एंड स्टार्ट पैकिंग विल्स सॉरी लिस्ट he is thus engaged another man similar in build to gerard enters from the right silently revolver in hand he is flashily dressed in an overcoat and a soft hat he bumps quickly sorry he bumps accidentally against the table and at a sound gerard turns quickly so what does this wants to say gerard is speaking on the phone he says that the person should call him up directly he adds that he would reach in 10 minutes bids goodbye and puts the receiver back on the phone then he goes to the divan and starts packing the stuff in traveling bag while he is busy packing another man who is similar to gerard enters the room silently from the right side he has a gun in one end he is dressed in bright colored dress and overcoat and a soft hat He bumps into the table and Gerard turns around at the sound. Now, each and everything will be explained one one dialogue every time. Gerard pleasantly, why this is a surprise, Mister R R. So Gerard speaks pleasantly to the stranger and says that he is surprised to see him. Intruder, I am glad you are pleased to see me. I don't think you will be pleased for long. Put those paws up. Now, intruder का मतलब है a person who intrude intrudes especially into a building with a criminal intent and pause pause means hands up okay so यहाँ पे here 
हैंड्स है तो पुट दोज हैंड्स अप सो इंट्रोड्यूसर सेज दैट ही इज ग्लैड टू फाइंड गैराड हैप्पी टू सी हिम He adds that Gerard won't remain happy when he comes to know of his intentions. The intruder asks Gerard to raise his hands. Gerard, this is all very melodramatic, not very original, perhaps, but so Gerard finds the intruder's behavior to be very dramatic and not very natural. Intruder trying to be calm and err. Uh, <coughs> so. The intruder said that he is trying to be composed and he is short of words to complete the sen- sentence. Gerard, nonchalant is your word, I think. Nonchalant का मतलब होता है not interesting. हम लोगों ने ये chapter number वन में भी देखा है, ठीक है? So nonchalant means not showing any interest or anxiety. Okay. So Gerard adds that he wants to say that he is trying to be calm. <coughs> and nonchalant that is not to show any anxiety or enthusiasm thanks a lot you will soon stop being smart i will make you crawl i want to know a few things see so intruder thanks gerard for com- for completing the sentence and says that soon he will stop acting smart he adds that he will torture him and make him crawl crawl ka matlab hota hai ghutne ke bal chalana theek hai <coughs> Next, Gerard. Anything you like, I know all the answers. But before we begin, I should like to change my position. You may be comfortable, but I am not. So Gerard says that the intruder could ask him anything, but before that, he wanted to sit comfortably. Sit down there and no funny business. Motions to a chair and sit himself on the divan by the bag. Now then, we will have a nice little talk about yourself. So the intruder command Gerard to sit on the chair, and si- and he himself sits on the divan. He wants to talk about two of them. <coughs> Gerard, at last, a sympathetic audience. I will tell you the story of my life. How, as a child, I was stolen by the gypsies, and why, at the age of thirty-two, I find myself in my lonely Essex cottage. How and dot dot dot. So gypsies, gypsies का मतलब होता है nomads, okay? So Gerard says that finally he has person who is concerned about him and wants to know about his past. He adds that he would tell him about his life, how as a child he was so stolen by a group of nomads, and why at the age of thirty two was he living all alone at this small cottage in Essex. Essex is a name of a place. By saying this, he developed an air of suspense around him. Intruder, keep it <coughs> to yourself and just answer my questions. You live here alone, well, do you? So intruder was not intrigued, yeah, not interested by Gerard's words. He wanted an he wanted answers to his set of questions and did not want to hear to what Gerard had to say. He asked if he if he lived there alone. <coughs> I am sorry. I thought you were telling me, not asking me. A question of inflection. Your voice is unfamiliar. Now, inflection का मतलब होता है a change in modulation of voice. So Gerard says that the way in which the intruder spoke made him feel that he was telling him that he lived alone rather than asking him if he did live alone. He added the intruder's voice was not familiar to imply that he wanted to know about. <coughs> Intruder with emphasis. Do you live here alone? <coughs> so intro, uh, intruder ने अपने आप को थोड़ा जोर दे के हो with emphasis मतलब ज़्यादा जोर देते हो गए यही same question किया कि क्या आप यहाँ पे अकेले रहते हो? <coughs> Gerard. And if I don't answer, so उन्होंने क्या बताया कि what if I don't answer you? So intruder says you have got got enough sense not to want to get hurt. और उन्होंने फिर बताया <coughs> कि इफ यू डिड नॉट वॉन्ट एनी हार्म देन ही शुड ऑबे हिज ऑर्डर्स गैर एट आई थिंक गुड सेंस इज शोन मोर इन एबिलिटी टू अवॉइड पेन देन इन द मियर डिजायर टू डू सो वॉट डू यू थिंक मिस्टर अर सो गैर एट स्पोक इंटेलिजेंटली एंड रिप्लाई दैट हिज गुड सेंस रिफ्लेक्टेड इन हिज एबिलिटी टू अवॉइड पेन देन द मियर डिजायर टू अवॉइड इट He asked the intruder about his opinion and addressed him as Mr. L to indicate that he wanted to know his name. 
Never mind my name. I like yours better, Mr. Gerard. What are your Christian names? So, <clears throat> intruder replies that he need not know his name. And on the other hand, asked Gerard his Christian name. Christian name ka matlab kya hota hai? The name he was given when he was baptized in the church. So, Gerard says Vincent Charles. So, unka real name jo hai, wo kya hai? Jo church mein rakha jata hai, usko bolte hai. Un, unka jo real name hai, wo hai Vincent Charles. Charles. Intruder, do you run a car? Gerard says, no. Intruder, that's a lie. You are not dealing with a fool. I am as smart as you and smarter and I know you run a car. Better be careful, wise guy. So, intruder said that Gerard was lying. He said that he was not foolish. He was smarter than him and knew that he had a car. He warned Gerard not to be fool him. <clears throat> Next, Gerard are you American or is that merely a clever intimation? So Gerard asked intruder if he was really an American ya unki jo bolne ki ascent hai wo sirf copy kar rahe hai Americans ki. Thik hai? Intruder, listen this gun's not a toy. I can hurt you without killing you and still get my answers. So intruder, intruder jo hai wo gussa ho jata hai got angry and said that this his gun was not a toy. He could harm Gerard and still would get a reply to his questions. Of course, if you put it like that, I will be glad to assist you. I do possess a car and it's a, a, and it's in the garage round the corner. So Gerard showed that he got scared and said that he would be happy to help the intruder. He accepted that he had a car and said that it was in a garage. Intruder, that's better. Do people come out? Uh, sorry, do people often come out here? So, intruder ne ek aur question kar diya ki <coughs> yaha pe log aate ra, jate rehte hain kya? To Gerard replied, very rarely, surprisingly few people take the trouble to visit me. There is the baker and the green gosser, of course, and then there is the milkman, quite charming, but not, not, sorry, but no one so interesting as yourself. So, Gerard replied that, that, he rarely had any visitors. He added that very few people underwent the trouble of visiting him. Other than the baker, greengrocer and the milkman, no one else bothered to visit him. Intruder, I happen to know that you never see tradespeople. Now, tradespeople, who are businessmen, hote hai wo. the intruder said that he had, to come, he had come to know that Gerard did not meet tradespeople. Next. Gerard, you seem to have taken a considerable amount of trouble since you know so much about me. Won't you say something about yourself? You have been so modest. So, Gerard commented that the intruder had gone through a lot of trouble to gain information about him. He added that as the intruder knew a lot about him, he should disclose some details about himself too. He added that the intruder had been reserved and had not talked much about himself. So, intruder, intruder ne usko kya reply diya? I could tell you plenty. You think you are smart, but I am the, I am the top of the class around here. I have got brains and I use them. That's how I have got where I have. So, intruder ne kya bataya? Intruder said that he had lot of, lot to talk about himself. In case Gerard thought himself to be smart, he was smarter. He had brains and used intelligence to achieve things. Then next, Gerard. And where precisely have you got it? It did not require a great brain to break into my little cottage. So Gerard commented that man had just broken into his small cottage, which was not a big deal and did not require much intelligence. Intruder, when you know why I have broken into your little cottage, you will be surprised and it won't be a pleasant surprise. So Intruder said that the reason for his entering Gerard co cottage, Gerard's cottage would shock him. Okay. Next, <coughs> Gerard, with you figuring so, lar so largely in it, that is understandable. By the way, what particular line of crime do you embrace Are, or aren't you a specialist? Gerard replied that by seeing intruder's behavior, he knew that, uh, that his reason for entering his house would be shocking. Then he inquired about the crime that intruder specialized in. Fair. Intruder ne kya jawab diya? My specialty is jeweler, sorry, jewel robbery. 
Your car will do me a treat. It's certainly a dandy bus. Now dandy means stylish or you can say fashionable. So उन्होंने क्या बताया? Intruder replied that he specialized in jewelry robbing. Uh, robbing and he added that Gerard's car would be a gift for him because it was very stylish. I am afraid jewels are my are few and far between in the wilds of Essex. Okay, Gerard commented that in Essex jewels were hardly found. He wanted to say that it was futile for intruder to visit areas as he would not find any jewels there. Next, so are the cops. Cops means police. I can retire here nicely for a little while. So the intruder added that just like jewels. Cops were also scarce, means very less in Essex, and so he could live there peacefully. Gerard, you mean to live with me? A trifle sudden, isn't it? You have not been invited. So Gerard asked if the intruder wanted to live with him. He commented that the decision was sudden and that he had not invited intruder to live with him. Next, you won't be here long. So I did not trouble to ask. So intruder ने क्या बताया कि तुम ज़्यादा देर तक यहाँ पे रहोगे नहीं इसीलिए मैंने आपको बताना या पूछना ज़रूरी नहीं समझा. Gerard, what do you mean? This is your big surprise. I am going to kill you. So Gerard ने पूछा क्या हुआ क्या भाई तो intruder ने बताया कि यही तो तुम्हारा surprise है. He is going to kill him. Okay, intruder is going to kill him. A little harsh, isn't it? With heavy sarcasm. Sarcasm means tauntism. Yeah, I will be sorry to do it. I have taken a fancy to you, but it's just got to be done. Okay, so the intruder replied sarcastically, or you can say tauntism. Me baat karte hue unhone bataya that he would be sorry to do that because he had developed a liking for him. Gerard. Why add murder to your other crimes? It's it's a grave step you are talking. Sorry, just a moment. <clears throat> Why add murder to your crimes? It is a grave step you are taking. Okay, so Gerard says that killing a person was a serious crime and advised intruder not to do so. I am not taking it for fun. I have been hunted. Sorry, hunted long enough. I am wanted for murder already, and they can't wait. Sorry, they can't hang me twice. Okay. So the intruder said that he was being chased by the police as he had already murdered a person. If he would kill another, the punishment would still remain the same. As they could not hang him, death twice. Gerard, you are planning a gratuitous double, so to speak. Admitted, you have nothing to lose, but what have you to gain? Gratuitous double means uh, done without reason. So Gerard said it means that the intruder was planning to murder him without any reason. He agreed that intruder would not lose anything, but asked him that what. Would he get by killing him? He wanted to know the reason for him to kill Gerard. Intruder. I have got freedom to gain. As for myself, I am poor hunted rat. As Vincent Charles Gerard, I am free to go places and do nothing. I can eat well and sleep, and without having to be ready to beat it at the sight of cop. So beat it का मतलब होता है to leave immediately. So intruder replied that in return for killing Gerard, he would get freedom. As he committed a murder, he was hunted by the police and was hiding like a rat. Upon stealing the identity of Vincent Charles Gerard, he would live a life of freedom. He could go to places, eat and sleep without and without the fear of being caught by the police. Next, Gerard. In the most melodramas, the villain is foolish enough to delay his killing long enough to be frustrated. You are much luckier. So Gerard commented that in many dramatic plays, the villain was showed to be foolish person. He would delay being killed and eventually got frustrated due to the delay. 
then he would commit some foolish act and get trapped but the intruder was lucky luckier than such villains okay so next page intruder i am okay i have got reasons for everything i am going to be vincent charles gerard see i have got to know what he talks like now i know that posh stuff comes easy this is mr v c gerard speaking pantomime of phoning in imitation cultured voice and that's not all he stands up gets up a minute gerard stands now take a look at me so posh posh means reach or you can say showbaji jaise karte hai na showy and pantomime pantomime means to copy someone okay so the intruder replied that he was fine because he was doing this for a reason he wanted to leave on the stolen identity of vincent charles gerard he enacted gerard styles of speaking which he had learned when he had overheard gerard overheard gerard talking on the phone the intruder mimed gerard and asked him how was his performance you are not particularly decorative aisa gerard ne bataya not particularly decorative means he was not acting very attractive no well that goes for you too i have I have only got to wear specs and I will be enough like you to get away with. So intruder ne kya bataya? Intruder commented that it was not so because <coughs> Gerard's behavior was such. He added that he only required spectacles and he would just look like Gerard. What about your clothes? They will let you down if you are not careful. Or fir Gerard ne bataya ki tumhare jo kapde hain, wo bahut hi bure hain. मेरे कपड़े में से जो मतलब मेरे क्लोथ्स हैं वो तुमको फिट नहीं होंगे सो वॉट अबाउट योर क्लोथ और जैसे ही क्लोथ्स पहनोगे तो यू योर आइडेंटिटी विल बी डिस्क्लोज सो इंट्रूडर सेज दैट विल बी ऑल राइट योर्स विल फिट मी फाइन और उन इंट्रूडर को इतना कॉन्फिडेंस था कि उनको गैराड के कपड़े जो है वो डेफिनेटली आ जाएंगे गैराड That is extremely interesting, but you seem to miss the point of my remark. I said you were luckier than most melodramatic villains. It was not a tribute to your <coughs> intelligence. You won't kill me for a very good reason. So tribute, tribute means showing gratitude, respect. Okay. So Gerard said that intruder did not understand his remark when he said that the intruder was luckier than the most melodramatic villains. He added that he was not. praising the intruder sorry intruder's intelligence but he wanted to say that intruder would not kill him until he had a major reason to do so intruder so that's what you think gerard you will let me go and thank god you did not shoot sooner or gerard ne bataya ki intruder would leave him alive he thank god the the man had not shot at him till the moment aisa theek hai come on intruder ne aisa bataya come on what's on your mind better be quick this conversation bores me so intruder ne aisa bataya ki jo bhi tumhari kahani hai fatafat batao theek hai ye jo lengthy conversation hoti hai that is boring for me gerard your idea is to elude the police by killing me and taking on my identity सो so, उन्होंने पूछा इंट्रूडर को कि तुम्हारा आइडिया यही है ना कि तुम पुलिस को बेवकूफ़ बनाओ मुझे मार कर और मेरी आइडेंटिटी लेकर सो वॉट डिड इंट्रूडर से इज यस आई लाइक द आइडिया गैराट से इज बट आर यू श्योर इट्स गोइंग टू हेल्प यू तो गैराट ने क्या बताया क्या तुमको सही में लग रहा है कि ये जो तुम प्लान बना रहे हो वो काम हो जाएगा So intruder says now listen here I have got this all planned I did a job in town things went wrong and I killed a cop since then I have done nothing but dodge dodge means run theek okay? hai avoid someone police ko avoid karna so intruder said that he had planned everything he did a he did a job in town something went wrong and he murdered a policeman since that day he was on a run gerard and this is where dodging has brought you so wo oh, gerard ne pucha kya bhagte bhagte tum yahi pe aana tha to introduce intruder says it brought me to El- <coughs> elisbury that's where i saw you in the car two other people saw you and started to talk i listened it looks like you are bite queer sorry you are bit queer kind of mystery man 
queer queer means strange strange mystery man so intruder ne kya bataya intruder say that while he was on the run he reached the town called elisbury there he saw gerard and overheard two men sorry overheard two men discussing him their discussion revealed that gerard was strange and mysterious a mystery which i purpose sorry द मिस्ट्री विच आई प्रपोज टू एक्सप्लेन गैर ने ऐसा बताया कि मैं मिस्ट्री जो है मैं अब मेरे सराउंडिंग जो मिस्ट्री है मैं तुमको बताता हूँ इंट्रूडर डिस रिगार्डिंग हिम योर फोन योर ऑर्डर एंड समटाइम्स यू गो अवे सडनली एंड कम बैक जस्ट द सेम दो आर जस्ट थिंग्स आई वॉन्ट टू डू हियरिंग अबाउट यू वॉज वन ऑफ माई लक्कीस्ट ब्रेक्स सो इंट्रूडर ओवर लुक गैराज रिक्वेस्ट एंड कंटिन्यूड हिज स्पीच He said that Gerard would order things over the phone, would go away and return suddenly. He also wanted to do such things. Getting to know Gerard was the luckiest happening for him. So Gerard ne kya bataya? Apparently, you have not intelligence to ask why I am invested in a clock of mystery. Clock ya invested in. पहले तो ये बता दूँ. Invested in मतलब adopted. और clock clock का मतलब यहाँ पे होता है cap ya rob. So Gerard commented that intruder was not so intelligent to guess that why he was surrounded by the air of mystery. Next page. Intruder preparing to shoot. As I said before, this conversation bores me. Gerard says, "Don't be fool. If you shoot, you will hang for sure. If not as yourself, then as Vincent Charles Gerard." What is this? So intruder usko maar nahi wala tha. ठीक है गैराट को प्रिपेयरिंग टू शूट और फिर उसने बताया कि जो भी कहना है जल्दी करो बिकॉज दिस कन्वर्सेशन बोर्स हिम तो गैराट ने क्या बोला अपने आप को बेवकूफ मत समझो <coughs> क्योंकि अगर तुम मुझे मार दोगे तो भी तुम नहीं बचोगे क्योंकि तुम अगर मेरी आइडेंटिटी लेके जाओगे तो तो भी तुम हैंग हो जाओगे ठीक है <coughs> तो इंट्रोडर एकदम से बावला हो गया कि उसको पता ही नहीं चला कि वो क्या कहना चाहता है so gerard says this is your big surprise i said you would not kill me and i was right why do you think i am here today and gone tomorrow never see trades people you say my habits would suit you you are a crook do you think i am sunday school teacher the games up as far as i am concerned things went wrong with me i said it with bullets and go away unfortunately they got one of my men and found things The fool should have burned tonight. I am expecting trouble. My bag's packed, ready to clear off. There it is. So Sunday school teacher, यहाँ पे ये indicate करना चाहता है कि क्या Sunday school teacher means यहाँ पे वो honest है कि नहीं. So Gerard said that this was a big surprise for intruder. The reason behind Gerard being a secretive man, his man, his not have visitors and his activities being suitable for the intruder. was that he was also a wrong man he was not an honest man like a school teacher his game got over when he had to kill someone with a gun after that one of his a company sorry a complice got caught by police they got evidence against gerard from him that a particular night gerard was expecting that police could raid his house to catch him and so he had packed his bag was ready to escape It's a bag, all right, and this is a gun, all right. What's all this? So intruder had to clue to all this. He agreed that Gerard had a bag and a gun, but why was he carrying odd stuff like artificial moustache, wings, sorry, wigs, and uh, what we say, props? ठीक है. Gerard ने क्या बताया? That's disguise outfit, false moustaches, and what not. Now, do you believe me? डिस्गाइज डिस्गाइज मीन्स अलग अलग अपियरेंस देते हैं ना अपनी आइडेंटिटी को छुपाने के लिए सो गैराट रिप्लाई दैट ही वॉज कैरिंग दिस प्रॉप सो दैट ही कुड चेंज हिज अपियरेंस इन ऑर्डर टू हाइड हिमसेल्फ ही होप दैट द इंट्रूडर वुड बिलीव हिम इंट्रूडर मर्जिंगली आई डोंट नो सो इंट्रूडर वो स्टिल डाउटफुल अबाउट गैराट वर्ड्स सो गैराट ने क्या बताया फॉर गॉड सेक Clear that muddled head of yours and let's go. Come with me in the car. I can use you. If you find in in a sorry, if you find it's a frame, you have got me in the car and you will still have and you have still got your gun. 
सो मडल्ड हेड मीन्स कन्फ्यूज माइंड एंड फ्रेम मीन्स फॉल्स तो गैराट ने क्या बताया गैराट रिक्वेस्टेड द इंट्रूडर टू बिलीव हिज वर्ड एंड एकम्पनी हिम इन हिज कार ही एडेड दैट ही दैट द इंट्रूडर कुड हेल्प हिम एस्केप एंड इफ ही फेल्ड दैट गैराज वर्ड वर फॉल्स ही कुड किल हिम विथ हिज ओन गन नेक्स्ट सॉरी somewhere we have missed out just a minute okay careful boss sorry not that one more thing maybe you are right intruder says maybe you are right garat said then don't waste time goes and picks up the hat and bag careful boss i am watching you garat i have got a man posted on the main road he will ring up if he sees the police but i don't want to leave telephone bell rings come on they are after us through here straight to the garage now ye puri jo request hai to wo intruder ne believe kar diya ki garage jo hai wo sahi hai garage was in hurry he picked his up he picked up his hat and a bag intruder says careful i am watching you or गैराट ने बताया गैट वन ऑफ हिज एक्म्प्लायंस हैड बिन पोजिशन ऑन द रोड टू वॉन हिमसेल्फ इफ यू सो द पुलिस जस्ट देन द टेलीफोन बेल रेंग एंड गैराट से दैट इट वॉज टाइम टू लीव ही डायरेक्टेड द इंट्रूडर टू लीव द गैरेज सॉ लीव थ्रू गैरेज डोर गैरेज डोर इंट्रूडर हाउ डू आई नो दैट यू आर टॉक यू आर टेलिंग द ट्रूथ द इंट्रूडर डाउटेड द गैराज वर्थ सो गैराट ने क्या बताया ओ डोंट बी फूल लुक फॉर योर सेल्फ गैराट ओपन द डोर एंड स्टेप अवे इंट्रूडर लीन्स फॉरवर्ड टू इंस्पेक्ट इट विथ हिज साइड टूवर्ड्स गैराट बट विद द रिवॉल्वर रेडी एज ही टर्न इज हेड गैराट गिवज हिम अ पुश इन टू अ कबर्ड नॉकिंग द रिवॉल्वर आउट ऑफ हिज हैंड ही स्लैम्स द डोर एंड लॉक्स इट पिक्स अप द रिवॉल्वर एंड गोज टू द फोन वेर ही स्टैंड विद द गन पॉइंटेड एट द कबर्ड डोर सो गैराट से द इंट्रूडर शुड नॉट बी फुलिश ही आस्क हिमसेल्फ to see for to so he asked him to see for himself he opened the door and stepped to one side of the intruder could see outside the intruder leaned forward with the gun still and pointed towards garat as he turned his garat sorry head garat pushed him into the cupboard and the gun fell off the intruder's hand as garat pushed the intruders inside the cupboard he closed the door and locked it he picked up the revolver and walked towards the phone the gun pointed towards the cupboard in case the intruder tried to escape intruder rattles door and shouts let me out of here so intruder rattled rattled mean chillana out of the on inside the cupboard and shouted to be freed gerard hello yes speaking sorry i can't let you have the props in time for real sir i have had a spot of bother quite amusing i think i will put it in my next play listen can you tell your friend the surgeon to come up here at once you will probably find him in the public bar or props props ka matlab jo actors wagera use karte hain apne kapde ke liye theek hai spot of bother means something that causes inconvenience or trouble so gerard answers the phone and said that he would not be able to deliver the props in time for the rehearsal of the play because he had been troubled by someone he added that he would add incident to this incident to his next play this shows that gerard was a playwright he asked the person to send the surgeon to his residence surgeon means police he added that probably the surgeon couldn't be found in the public bar and that's the end of your chapter number 11 if i were you if you have gone through this entire video please do like share comment and subscribe my channel sanket purohit from sanket group of coaching Bye bye friends bye bye students thank you very much